most dominant offensive line in the Big Ten. What what kind of vibe? I know it's important what you guys think of yourself, but what are your coaches? What's coach? What are Coach Stud and Coach Wilson and Coach Meyer? What's the feedback you're getting from them right now about the way this offensive line is playing? Right now, um, they're saying that we're kind of just taking off. We just keep going up and keep getting better and better each week. So these next few weeks, we can we hope to continue to get better, and we will. Do you? What do you feel within yourself in the group? The guys that are that are out there doing it. Do you feel that? Can you sense that? Yes, I can. It's a mentality that you know no one's going to touch JT. No one. That's the, that's our mentality. Whatever you do, if you have to fight, scratch, crawl, no one's going to get there. And we're going to dominate the line of scrimmage. Can you that fourth quarter? The receivers were running their routes. JT was making the throws, but you guys were giving him the time to do it. What did it feel like in that fourth quarter? To do that in a moment where, if you guys let a you know you let a sack or two through, you guys probably lose that game. You know how did you do that in the fourth quarter? I think everyone on our line we just kind of took pride in our job to protect JT. And hey, folks, we got KJ Hill here. What? So we know you played it. You were such a young guy playing last year. If you if you could describe for the people who aren't offensive line experts how you're better. Right, I assume you feel like you're a better player just because you're a year older. How are you better this year compared to when you were playing as a true freshman? I feel like overall I understand the offense more. You know, last year I was, you know, people said, you know, my left and my right. And this year I feel like, you know, I know the offense and I'm much more a physical player than I was last year. I'm quicker off the ball. How much have you helped a guy like uh, Demetrius who came in for that left guard position after uh, Brandon's injury? Um, I helped, you know, Demetrius with, you know, he's a great player. I just helped him, you know, calm down, you know, because when your name is called, you have to be ready, and I think, you know, Demetrius Knox, he was ready. Yeah, what, 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 what have you seen out of him since he stepped up into that starting role? I see a lot of fight and strain in him. And uh, some of these newer guys that are behind you on, on the two deep, uh, how have you helped them come along? Because... You're a guy who was kind of in their position last year and then obviously starting this year. Um, it just uh, involves, uh, you know, extra time. You know, I'm always there for when they have questions to ask. And, you know, I can watch film with them anytime. So I try to walk them through all those steps to then, get better. And then how important has Coach Stud been in the development of yourself and then, you know, the offensive lineman in general? Uh, coach said, you know, he's a great coach. He always is going to push the best out of you, always, no matter what. When you, You've played next to Billy for a year and a half now. Um, he's started for four years here. He's a captain. Just like, what is, who is Billy Price? Billy Price is a very strong leader. I say his leadership skills are up here, up there. Off top, you know, when I first started playing as a freshman, the first thing he said to me the very first game, you jog out there, don't look around. Didn't listen, looked around, saw all those fans. I got so nervous. And then, you know, he ended up calming me down and I was ready to play my first game as a true freshman. Because he's been through that. He played as a true freshman, yeah. so he would know what it was like and he's trying to show, tell you what it he's was like. He's always for him. telling me that, you know, he's been in my position before and, you know, whenever. I'm not doing well at a certain thing, you know, he says, you know, I was once there, you know, you can do this, you know, you can fight past that. When, so you're saying, you, you guys as an offensive line are saying, we're not going to let anybody get to JT. What do you think that ju- does for JT as a quarterback when you guys aren't letting anybody get there? How, how do you see it affect a quarterback when he has a clean pocket to make a throw? I think it, it clears his mind more and all those open routes that are more open, I think he can see them more. And, uh, you know, just look at last game. It's 33 or 39, and four of them have dropped passes. It's so, really good. I mean, do, you take, uh, can, do you take personal pride in that? No, yes, I do. Okay. That you're part of that. You and your, the five guys on the line are a big part of that 33, how that happened. Yes. Mike, um, JT said in there that um, the receivers and quarterbacks are doing a good job of talking about what they anticipate on Fridays, you know, they see what they expect to see on Saturday. That wasn't always the case um, in like 2015 and even last year for you guys. Are you um, seeing what you expect to see more this year than you did last year? I mean, seeing on the field, like yeah, like, the, like you going planning in the games. Yeah, like what you expect yes. to see from the front. So you 
better yes. at that? Are you guys better at that this year? Yes, yes. Like how? how you know, I would how say so? we prepare more. We prepare a lot more. And we go over things constantly. We get a lot of practice reps, and we practice that same play over and over and over and over again until it's perfected. Now, Kevin Wilson, after I think the Oklahoma game, said he needed to do a better job of anticipating. Um, have you guys seen that? You know, in, in the play calling and the successful the success of the offense. Yes, you know, I think Coach Wilson is a great, you know, play caller, and uh, he's helping us get better each each week. I'm sure you've already been asked about Meech. How has he done? You know, Meech has done an astounding job. You know, he's he came in when his number was called and he played really well. What about Isaiah? I mean, obviously last year Penn State was was a game he got criticized a lot for, and, and I know he showed up pretty big in this game. How have you seen him grow over the past year? I think Isaiah he's a lot more mature and. Uh, you know, just this game kind of proves how mature he was. Not one time did he hang his head down. Not one time. You know, he kept his head up, and we kept all five of us kept fighting until the very end. What did about you? you? Are you a vet now? Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a vet yet. I mean, I still got a bunch of older guys teaching me new things every day. You're probably the best one to answer this. Iowa has the first freshman tackle in the entire history of Kirk Ferentz's ten, uh, tenure there. How tough of a job is that to do? Um, you know, if you have the skill set, you know, as long as you believe in yourself, I think, you know, you can do it. The only thing that would be tough is the mental aspect. Don't be, like, too hard on yourself. Like you said. Last question. 